So this is a, an elevator piece. So basically it has all sorts of these little teeth. And if you would look carefully, they are pretty much, they pretty much fit perfectly with a gear. So a gear, well basically what it will do is it will spin on this and it will go up. And when, when it goes up, the, the thing that you attach onto the gears and your claw, if this is an elevator, they will also move up with it. So this creates a pretty cool elevator design. So generally what you would use is this elevator piece, two gears, two sa same size gears attached to each other, like the exact same, and they will be moved, spinning like this. And then you will need a really long metal shaft for however long you want, for however long you want this elevator to be. Like you can have it from a distance of like here to like here all the way out. So you need to have a shaft that long to be able to create a working elevator with these parts. And you'll also have to buy these, they're not included. So you'll have two gears the same size here and the gears must be the same size on the other side. So same side. And what you would normally have is you would have this piece. If you look, they go in like this. So this has to be right here, right over here. And when it go, and it has to be attached, it has to have some correlation with this gear because they both need to be moving up together. So they have to be attached in some way and the ways you can attach them vary. So figure out a way to do that and then add your claw and you need to have a power source on one side, like any side, like it can be this side or it can be the other side that's over here. Just have a motor on the super long shaft that you're using to connect them to. Just motor on the super long shaft and then we'll have to wire it and stuff. And then you will be able to make this elevator work. The elevator, it's not that used, it's not that common this year, but it can be used in later competitions and challenges. To create like a background for the elevator, you'll need a you'll need a long beam that's kind of like the backup or the backing. And then if you look behind the elevator pieces, there are four four holes. And each of those four holes needs to have four pins. And then on the top and bottom there are holes too. And that is used to attach them like this. There's gonna be a pin here. Reg just regular pins. You cannot use anything else. So you would regular pin attach them onto here, either on the middle or on the sides. It depends which one you want to attach them onto. And then you have this long elevator thingy that a gear or your claw or whatever you want to put there can roll above, up, and down. This design is generally slow and it, it can be used to lift pretty heavy stuff, but it's pretty slow and being slow is pretty big negative quality. So unless you can find a really good use for these, there's a better way to create elevators. A better way to create elevators is with a chain. So the one I just showed you is an elevator that powers on those elevators powers on these elevator pieces that these it's powered with this but another elevator idea is using chains to create an elevator and this elevator will be powered by chains and it will be going it will, it will be like this and it will be like spinning around if you have a sprocket down here like i showed you last time two sprockets on either end and one of them is attached to a motor they'll make the chain spin you need tread to be able to attach your claw, otherwise there's nowhere to attach it to. You can't attach a beam on here. Where would you attach it to? So you'll need some tread too. And what you can do is after you create your claw on the tread and you attach it, then you will need to actually use these elevators, elevator pieces. So let's just say if your claw is this, then another good thing is to use like some backing, like this long beam that I showed you, 
add some of these elevator pieces like this and then you can use this bracket piece to like latch on to the elevator and when this bracket piece is attached onto your normal claw and your elevator the elevators if there are all four pins on all four holes like this all four holes then the elevator will be really stable and it will not be able to tilt normally unless it's super heavy then you can make a claw that goes up a lot faster than um, an elevator with those elevator pieces because if you're using an elevator with the elevator pieces you have to lift up one or two motors one motor for the power source of the elevator so it can actually move and one motor probably for the claw but with this elevator design with chain tread and elevator pieces you only need to lift up one motor if it's your claw and normally claws aren't active which means they require a motor so this is just a better design but it requires more parts so yeah however i would not recommend using any types of elevator for this year's challenge rise above because this year you have unlimited expansion which allows for things like super long arms or double reverse four bars or six bars or anything cool that can reach very very high and using an elevator means you only have limited reach and it can you can only start in a certain position that, that therefore you can you can't reach higher than the starting position if you're using an elevator but if you're using a compact design you can start off small and reach however big you want to it's just with this elevator design it's not going to be very helpful i've tried it before this semester i mean this season and it just doesn't really work well so yeah don't use the elevator this design but you can, this challenge but you can create them for some cool ideas like maybe a forklift idea or you can use a forklift to lift some things around like some light stuff but yeah like i said don't make an elevator if you want to do great make a really long arm or make something that can extend past the ex past the starting point and starts in the starting point starting position so thanks for watching this short video about elevators and i'll be creating a more advanced video called advanced elevators or something next week so yeah stay tuned for that and thanks for watching i hope you see you hope to see you in that video and bye bye